politicians? Do they know about youth employment? Do they care? Let's find out. Today, we were out talking with Ottawantonians. Is that what they're called? I don't know if that's a thing, Clinton. I think they're just Canadian people. That's true. Canadian people visiting the hill, locally living here, and talking to them about youth employment. And if they believe that they think that the people who work here take youth employment seriously. Hi, guys. I'm out here talking about youth employment. I was wondering if I can grab a quick soundbite from you guys about if the government cares about getting young people employed. Well, I haven't experienced any help from the government whatsoever, but I work with my family, so it's hard for me to say. Um, probably not. Not exactly, because a lot of opportunities that they give are geared towards people who are a bit older. I know that youth employment, uh, unemployment at this time is very high, so I mean, I hope they're doing something about it. As a nursing student, yeah, I do think so. Yeah, I would say so, for sure. I think that they see what we're going through, the amount of edu education we have to go through, and they're making a plan for us so that we do have more jobs. Around election time, they care about me, and then when it's on election time, it's like, you know, we're, we're going to work hard around election time, and then the rest of the year, we're going to work hard about what we're going to work hard on during election time. And I'm not saying that we should be spoon-fed these things, but it would definitely be nice when the government has no problem reminding me to pay my taxes or to vote for this, to vote for that that they can send me something saying, well, here's your help to get a job. Are we hearing enough during this current federal election about youth employment? I don't think we're hearing anything about it, unfortunately, which is a, a real shame because I know it's, the, it's tough for recent graduates. It's not the same, you know, when I was your age, you know, kids, they'd get out of college, they'd sign up with IBM and they'd work there for the rest of their lives, get a little key, you know, after 50 years or whatever, and yeah. there's no job security anymore. You yeah. think if, if we don't start having these conversations, our countries are going to be in a little bit of trouble in the future? Well, they're, uh, they're the future, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree with that, for sure. I mean, you got to talk about it. And we have to be involved, too, as young people. Like, this is great, you know, getting out there and talking about it is important. We have a duty also, politically, to do the right thing. Voter turnout, um, especially, I'd say, among youth is also pretty horrible. Like I personally, I'm sorry to admit to the camera, I haven't voted federally, uh, provincially, uh, municipally at all. And I'm 22, I think, and I, I haven't voted since I was 18. I'm sorry, I'm the wrong person Yeah, I don't follow politics. I'm like definitely not the right person to ask. Everything seems so good and you're thinking, well, why would I vote everything? The status quo is fine. But it has been getting worse and it has been getting worse, especially for us. So if the youth aren't really involved in choosing the government, then the government isn't out to look out for their best interests. Think about you yourself. Is this government going to serve you and if the answer is not yes then do something about it get out there and think about how is this gonna affect me and am I happy with that and if not then you know you got to do something about it and one way to do that is voting obviously what do politicians need to be hearing from a younger generation their opinions lower college tuition prices <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. University expenses to be more practical, something that we could actually afford to go through four years, if not more, years of school. Um, that way when we graduate we don't have so much debt to face and on top of that trying to find a job. Paid internships and um, cheaper school. That's about it. Why aren't they asking people questions? Like it's just, it's like a social thing. The easiest way to get what you want is to just straight up ask somebody, how can we help you? From what I see is that they're trying to solve a problem from 100 kilometers away. Just literally go to universities, go to people and say, what sucks about the process and how can we try to make it better? And even if you get 100 answers and five of them are good, then take those five actual answers and use them. So politicians, it is now your chance. Step up, MPs and candidates alike. Share what you think can be done about youth employment in Canada and mobilize the young people to participate in this election. That's our goal. And if you're a young person, get in touch with us and send us your questions. We will ask on your behalf to find out what politicians think about this crisis. Over the coming weeks, we're going to be releasing interviews with politicians. We actually got one of the leaders to speak with us. I'm not going to say who because that's going to be your surprise to find out. So 
Keep checking back with RoadToEmployment.ca. We're your future. Better look out for us.